welcome to Beyond Caladasia, the official internet television show of Legends of Caladasia. I'm Jason, the creator of the game. In just a few moments, we'll show you a few quick hobby projects on how to make the tokens that come with the Rise of the Suricari Battle Kit easier to use. But first, we have a few quick news items. Yukon 2010 is over, and the invasion of Minix 4 is well under its way. The Surakaya forces won the scenario and managed to blast their way through the Aragul defenders to begin their attack on the surface of the planet. And that brings me to the second news item, which is that the second half of the battle for Minix 4 will be fought at Wintercon 2010 on the campus of Oakley University in Rochester Hills, Michigan. This gaming convention runs from December 3rd to December 4th, and of course, Caladagia Media Productions will have a table set up for the entirety of the convention to sell the various legends of Caladagia products, and then the final big battle will be fought on December 4th at 7 p.m., and more information about this battle will be coming next week. Rise of the Surikari Complete Battle Kit is now on sale for $15. It's 25% off the normal retail price of this starter set, and of course you can purchase it by going to Caladagia.com or pick a copy of it up at Wintercon 2010. The final news story, we're talking about the Rise of the Surikari Warship figure line. We have pricing information as well as release dates available at this time. There will be two box sets, one for the Aragul, one for the Surikari, and each one will contain six figures. One battlecruiser, two destroyers, and three frigates, as well as the associated acrylic flight stands for each of those figures. Uh, the figures themselves are either resin or pewter, depending on the particular model, and each box set will retail for $45. They'll be available for sale to the general public on December 6, 2010, but of course if you're going to Wintercon 2010, you'll have first shot to purchase them there. Also available at the time will be a selection of individual figures that you can purchase as well. So the first hobby project of the day is we're going to give our Rise of Surikari tokens a foam backing. So the things you're going to need, one, are obviously the tokens from Rise of the Surikari, the complete battle kit. Some type of foam here. I'm using the Creatology branded foam that you can purchase at Michael's Craft Stores. This is one H inch thick and of course it's solid black. But of course, you can use any type of kind of flexible foam you want, maybe even a rigid surface, it's your choice. I just like this foam because it's lightweight and easy to cut, and it works really well for this purpose because it does get a pretty good, a decent little gripping surface on the tabletop that you're going to be playing the game on. In addition, you need some spray adhesive. That's obviously a can of spray adhesive. You spray it down like spray paint, but it's glue. And finally, scissors to cut everything out. So the first step is to go ahead and lay down your foam and obviously following all instructions found on the spray adhesive can, all safety instructions and that kind of safety warnings and things like that, apply a layer of spray adhesive to the foam such that it is an area large enough to glue all your tokens down. Now follow, continue to follow the instructions that it says on your can, lay each of the tokens down over the area you just covered with glue. The reason I say it's very important to follow instructions, for example, the spray adhesive I used requires you to let it stand for 45 seconds to a minute before you actually apply the tokens down to the surface of the foam. Just kind of let the glue sit for a little bit in order to ensure a proper bond. Once you glue in the tokens, let them sit for about an hour, and now it's time to go and cut them out. And the beauty of using this foam is basically that you can cut it with scissors. So using a pair of scissors, cut out each of the foam, or each of the tokens you just glued down, and you'll be ready to go and play with your new foam-backed Legends of Caladagia Rise of Surikari tokens. So the next hobby project is to make some cool looking asteroid tokens what I've got sitting in my hand right here. And like just with the previous um, game tokens, we're going to use the same foam backing. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to start by obviously using the spray adhesive and cover an area of the foam equal to the size of the basically the token card from Rise of Surikari that is the asteroid card. Glue the card down and let that sit for about an hour. Then go out and cut out the card itself as I did already and then using some type of glue, say Elmer's glue or hot glue, either one works just as well, glue down a single lava rock to the top of the asteroid token to give you the effect that there's a 3D asteroid on top. Now, I use lava rocks for a couple of reasons. First of all, lava rocks are a type of landscaping rock. You can buy a large bag, say, at a big box home improvement store for probably pretty cheap, like 3 or $4. And the reason to use these rocks is, one, they're dirt cheap. Like I said, 3 or $4 gets you a lot of, lot of rocks. I'm actually still going out a bag that I bought, I think, two years ago, maybe about a year and a half ago, two years ago. And... It's pretty much, I've used maybe a quarter of the bag, if that, so there's a lot of rocks in the bag. And also, they're very light. 
They're not heavy rocks, it makes them very easy to carry around and less chance of kind of breaking and kind of breaking other stuff because they are fairly light type of rock because they're very porous. You'll also find out, notice they're very dusty as well. Now granted, real asteroids are nothing like lava rocks and they're much different materials, but regardless, it's a very simple way to actually go ahead and give a bit of 3D terrain to ledges of Caladasia. And if you want to, you can always go back and paint the rocks up a little bit to give them the effect of different minerals, say granite or, I don't know if it's granite, even asteroid. But iron, iron is what I'm thinking of, iron, and of course, other minerals like that. Well, there you go. That's two quick and simple projects to, one, make your tokens easy to use for Legends of Caladasia, and give your battlefield a bit of a cool and simple 3D look. So for more information on the game, or to purchase a copy, or of course to sign up for our email mailing list, head over to Caladasia.com. That's K-A-L-I-D-A-S-I-A.com. Once again, I'm Jason, the creator of the game. Thanks for watching.